What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred back again with another Pokemon Go News Update video. Today is February 27th, 2018, which means today is Pokemon Day out here in Europe, out here in Switzerland. So happy Pokemon Day for anyone watching this video. And just like a trend with all Pokemon Days, they usually take this day to announce something or, you know, something game related or something like that. But today Niantic has took that vow into consideration and actually announced tons of stuff coming to Pokemon Go that some stuff is actually live now and as well as what's coming to the future. As you can see on screen, they announced the Pokemon Go Community Day for March is gonna be Bulbasaur. So let's go over that because that to me is the biggest news story that came out of yesterday's Pokemon Go Community Day. Now, once I seen that Bulbasaur was gonna be the Pokemon Go Community Day Pokemon for March, I immediately got excited because the first thing I thought about is, wait, just like Jatini, just like Pikachu before it, are we getting shiny Bulbasaur added to Pokemon Go and even better are we getting shiny Ivysaur as well and as you can see on screen shiny Ivysaur looks so dope with that golden leaf on top it's such a beautiful Pokemon hopefully it does make its way into Pokemon Go I mean this is not a hundred percent confirmation that is gonna be added to Pokemon Go but Jesus I oh my god I want it so bad not only because it's a Gen 1 starter Pokemon, it, it, it just looks good. I can't wait to see how it looks inside of Pokemon Go. And Jesus Christ, please, fingers crossed that this is a thing. Now, just like a Dratini, we do not know the exclusive move for Bulbasaur. That can mean a few things. Maybe it's a move that's not already added into the game. Maybe it's a move that the Bulbasaur line doesn't know in the game. Or maybe, again, it's something that's not for Bulbasaur, not for Ivysaur, but for Venusaur that you need to evolve within the three hour window. And from what we know, it could be any of the three. So right now, we just got question marks on that exclusive move let me know in the comment section below what would you want the move to be i i'm totally lost bulbasaur is a poison grass pokemon so the gamut of moves he could learn could be a, a ton of stuff so i'm kind of clueless when it comes to this so let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what move you think will be most beneficial for bulbasaur or for ivysaur in that matter to have inside of pokemon go to make them better in the quote-unquote meta game inside of Pokemon Go. So we also are getting three time catch bonus XP for um, catching Bulbasaur in this three hour window on Pokemon Go Community Day, which I think is amazing. So I'm gonna personally take the time out to grind my ass off and use those three hours to basically catch up on the casual stance of it. Because as a lot of people tell me, they're like, yo, you're level what, 27? You're casual, bro. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. I'm not claiming to be the 100% Pokemon Go Master, but I do love the game. I do play it regularly, even though that might not seem like much. At the same time, I do love the game and I can't wait for this Pokemon Go Community Day. Now we also are getting three hour lures. Like always, it's kind of been the staple of Pokemon Go Community Day to have the three hour lures, which is a good thing to see that that's returning as well. And that would mean that the lures will last the whole Pokemon Go Community Day event, which is pretty good. And that's something you do want to see as far as you know you want to see the whole world lured up <laughs> because i again that makes it easier for pokemon to spawn as well as to be able to go out and catch bulbasaur and fingers crossed shiny bulbasaur so one thing we also did learn is that this pokemon go community day is going to be on march 25th 2018 which is to nobody's surprise that it's going to be in march but the 25th is in fact a is a sunday not a Saturday. Pokemon Go Community Day, just for a little backstory, has always been on a Saturday. Now it's landing on a Sunday. Sounds like they're taking in consideration that people may be working on Sunday. I know there was a lot of people complaining like, hey, I'm work on Sunday and you guys are always doing it on Sunday. That means I will never be able to take part in Pokemon Go Community Day, which means they putting it on a Saturday kind of leads to the idea that, hey, we listen and this may not please everyone. This, you know, people go to church or whatever the case maybe this is going to probably ruin it for some people but at the same token where we're trying to keep the game balanced and try to see what's the best fit and i don't mind it 
in Switzerland out here. Everything is closed, so my wife is gonna be home. I'm gonna be home. It's a perfect day for me to go out and play Pokemon Go, take the daughter to the park, walk around, and catch myself. Bulbasaur, again, 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 fingers crossed, shiny Bulbasaur. Also in the news, we have brand new fire red and leaf green outfits making the way into the game. Now, if you don't know, fire red and leaf green are the remix to the original games, which again, came out on Pokemon Day. So that's probably why they integrated these brand new outfits into the game. I think it's pretty cool. Kind of sad that it's not free for everyone, kind of like the Sun and Moon outfits. But hey, if you want your trainer to look like Red from the original game, now you can do that, which is pretty cool, hands down. I think that is amazing. Now, last but probably not least is the Pokemon Day event, which is going on right now. It actually started the 26th and it's gonna end on the 28th so we have like a day and a half to if you're watching this video and finding out from this video you have a day and a half but again until the end of february you're gonna be able to go out and catch your pikachu with this purple and indigo hat i think it's pretty cool it's like a birthday day pikachu event you know celebrating again pokemon day we've seen this before so it's not truly unique it's not something brand spanking new i was kind of hoping that we seen the guy from the the loading screen the 2018 loading screen have the hat on but we didn't get that but it's pretty cool pikachu with the birthday hat is a special event pikachu so if you've missed it before in the past here's a chance to snap tons of it now spawning every time i open the app i see tons of it and so you can be able to grab it and as you guys know pikachu has its shiny version inside of pokemon go so this could be a great way to go out and grab yourself a shiny pikachu also to know is that pikachu is gonna have a special move and the special move is gonna be present so again it's nothing to brag about I don't know if you evolve into Raichu if it's gonna stick with the move but hey you can have a Pikachu with the present move which I believe we've seen before with the Christmas hat I could be wrong let me know in the comment section below but again if you want a Pikachu with the birthday hat and having presents this time you can go out and do that and that's pretty cool for Pokemon day I, I would hope I'm glad that we got something I'm glad we got any of it. I was hoping for a different Pokemon this year, but I guess they missed the ball on that, but it's okay. It's all right. Niantic, your guys are doing a lot as far as events is going, and y'all been kicking ass with the Community Day events. You've been kicking ass with the regular events. You've been kicking ass with putting new legendary Pokemon into the game. You've been kicking ass with just new features in the game as well this year so hats off to Niantic for actually doing a great job I would have to say with you know the Pokemon brand and franchise inside of Pokemon Go with this mobile AR game. Now that's going to be it on the Pokemon Go news for today let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on Pokemon Day with Pikachu being added into the game with this again with this hat that we've seen before but with this brand new move are you excited for it? Are you excited for the possibility of having Pikachu Pikachu shiny with this hat, which to me may be dope. Um, also, let me know your thoughts on the brand new announced Pokemon Go Community Day for March, which is going to be on March 25th. Let me know your thoughts on it being on a Sunday this time around. Also, let me know what you would want Bulbasaur's exclusive move to be. And I know you're going to want it to be shiny. I don't think no one's actually hating on the fact that we have shinies in Pokemon Go. What's your hype level on the fact that we're getting the Bulbasaur line? shiny in Pokemon Go. I think it's pretty dope. I can't wait for the possibility of maybe having a Charmander Pokemon Go community day because a shiny Charizard would be everything inside of Pokemon Go. But I, hell, I, if I could get a shiny Bulbasaur because I didn't get a shiny Dratini, if I could get a shiny Bulbasaur, I'd be happy with a shiny Ivysaur in the game. So let me know your thoughts on that. The fire red and leaf green suits. Uh, do, do you think they're pretty cool? Are you going to spend the coins for them? I'm personally not. I'm still trying to get the Team Rocket suits. So, but uh, let me know your thoughts regardless in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter. You guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube. And yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of these Pokemon Go news update videos. The best way to catch them all is with a subscription. So please hit that subscribe button, but also hit the like button because it does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next Pokemon Go news update video.